I've got this 8-bit do, 8-bit do, SN30 Pro. Bought this faulty from eBay, it cost me £15 I think it was, I'll put the listing on the screen. It was sold as no power, doesn't charge, which is a fairly standard listing on eBay these days, isn't it? Mind you, at least it didn't say it was untested. And sure enough, to power these on you hold down the start button and it's doing absolutely nothing. I think we should have some LEDs here, or maybe up here, but no, it's doing absolutely nothing. And when we plug it in on our USB, it's not drawing any amps. So we've got zero amp draw, five volts, it's still doing nothing. Now I had a quick look at the port with the naked eye and it doesn't look too bad. But, I mean it could be the port, I don't know, but it's, it's literally dead as a dodo. Dodo's dead? Well, before I go taking it apart, let's just have a quick look under the microscope at the port. Probably should have done this before I plugged it in. Hmm, I mean it's hard to get the lighting right on this, but... I mean, it doesn't it, it doesn't look that bad, but those because there's a couple of pins there that look, look to be stuck up a bit. I don't know. It probably is that, isn't it? But we'll find out. Let's take it apart. Just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. I don't know, but this port seems kinda odd. No power from the cord, oh lord. Let's pray this thing can be restored. I got my fix on, but gotta thank first. Starting with folks, I was beaten, come on, do your work. Give Keisha a chance, say the boys from the dwarf. Jam, rag, candle, bird, let's go for it. Whole belly band rush, back to squash titter. Man can't put your game in as the package been delivered. I gotta go, cause I got me a hot air gun. When I hit the switch, I make melty plastic fun. Me, greed, Nick Adams, see the light. Looking in the mirror, not a larger in sight. And everything is alright. I got a beat from Kit, and he can fix all night. Called up the homies, and I'm asking y'all. We saw a cat, who you gonna call? Me on the tube and I'm trouble. Last week messed around and got a triple double. Whatever that means, Ice Cube he say. I can't believe today was a good day. The rookie John Pushit, Kenneth Terry, RVE, Jonathan Briggs, and Diamond Sloan ST. Adam Taylor Bean Money trying to blast me. Stop a fuel focus, written row it past me. No flexing, didn't even turn the eye and what a rebel. We're taking this to another level. Jonathan Hard and pump the bass. And the treble. John Marlow in the house, watching an idiot fix things. Can't stop going once it started. It stands. Elmo's finds infinity western songs. Massive thank you to all of the patrons. Kill switch, Dr. Wizard, let's try. But SJ Wood, Wolf and Bills online with Dr. Frankenstein. Mark of this 19, come on, let's get the money. Monkey Joe, Tokyo, I'm not being funny. But peace to all, that's what I say. It's not only today, it can be a good day. There's a few niggly little ribbon cables whilst taking that apart. Uh, I don't think I've damaged any. I mean, it seems very well made. I think these do retail for like 45, 50 quid, so... Well, I don't know what to do now. I don't know if just go straight for this port. Let's have a look at the port under the microscope. Let's see if we can see what type of port it is and if there's anything wrong with it. Right, so we've got... It's a USB-C, but it's not a typical USB-C. He's only got 12 pads. And we've got these two connected together, these two connected together, these two and these two. So I suppose we've got 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16 pins. And what do they normally have? 24, is it? Two rows of 12? Hmm. That's not going to be easy to swap out, is it? I did buy a kit of peculiar USB ports. I might get lucky. There might be one in there. But I think that's the place we should start. I think we should take this port off because it doesn't look great. Oh, I'll tell you what, I know what we can do. We can use the USB-C breakout board and check to see if any of the connections aren't there. I did this a while back to help me out with... I can't remember what I was doing. It might have been a switch. But anyway, uh, yeah, it is 24 pins. You've got two rows of 12. And A4 and A9, B9, B4 are the important ones, really, because that's the power. Without that, it's not going to work. Uh, and then we've got some data lines and some other stuff that I don't understand. So let's check what we've got coming up on this. A A1 is there. I think that's the ground. A2. 
is not there. I don't know what that is. A3 is not there. A4 is not there. A5 is. A6 is. A7 is. Now the rest of them are just kind of duplicates from that point on, I think. Right, so A4 isn't there, which is a power line, so I'm guessing that's why it's not charging. So let's go ahead and let's take this port off. In fact, before I do that, let's see if I've got a replacement. That was loud. Right, so I've got Type C 6 pin, Type C 6 pin, 6 pin, 2 pin, 16 pin. Is that what I said? And this one. Mm, yeah, let's have a look at that under the microscope. Yeah, that looks right. It's got two double ones either end. Let's just compare it to the one on the board. Yes. Pins look the same. Yeah, those pins are exactly the same. Let's see if the mountain holes are the same. Do you know what? I think they are. They're very similar. Yeah, okay. Wow. I think I've got lucky there. Right, the only other problem I'm going to have with this is we've got a button here which is obviously plastic, is very, very close, and it's on both sides. So even if I apply heat from the bottom, I still risk melting this. But I think I am going to apply heat from the bottom, am I? I don't know, am I? I don't know, am I? So I'm going to cover it in aluminium tape. And I'm going to add some leaded solder here, here, here and here, and on the pins on the other side. And this board is reasonably thick. If you look at it, it's got quite a few layers by the looks of it. Or it's just a big, fat, thick board. Yeah, that looks like multiple layers to me. I could be wrong. Uh, so I think it's going to need quite a bit of heat. So I'm going to whack the heat up to... I'm going to go 500. Sod it. I'm going to start by adding some flux and some leaded solder to the pins here. I think I just made a major boo-boo. Pretty sure there was a component here a minute ago. Damn. I think I found it. Wow. Way to go, Steve. Hopefully I can get that back on. Let that be a lesson to you. Don't be gung-ho with the lead solder when you've got a very small components right next to the port. Right, I've just tacked it back on for now. I'm gonna, I'll I can tidy that up once I've got the port off, I think. still there. It is. It's moved. I'm gonna get some... Mm, I don't know what to do. It doesn't fit. Oh, it isn't as wide. I'm like, oh, Steve. And you thought you got lucky, when in reality, you're far from lucky. The only thing I can think of, obviously the legs of it line up, but just not the ground legs. Maybe I can bend them out. I mean, it's not ideal, is it? Let's see how terrible that looks. Pretty terrible, but you know what? It might work. Let's see if I can get it on kind of like this. I think I'm just gonna go for it and see what happens.
Well, it's time for the solid test, and I don't feel very confident in this one. Solid. 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 I'm solid. No way. Let's clean it up. Because I don't believe that. Let's see if I can get some more solder into these ground legs. So the ground legs don't go through the board if I can flood them with enough solder. <laughs> Just done a Vince and spilt my IPA everywhere. The ultimate test. Let's see how much of this. Oh, how much of this button's left? I go so far as to say, all of it. Nice. Right, I'll give this a, a good clean and dry it off, and then. <sighs> I mean, if it works, who cares, right? Everybody probably. I and mean, if it does work, I'll eat my hat. Well, I don't actually own a hat, but I'll go out and buy one, and then I'll eat it. I hope it doesn't work. Right, there we go, all back together. And it was quite fiddly, I've got to be honest, those ribbon cables are not easy. But I suppose once you've done it a few times, you'll get the hang of it. Here it goes, let's see if it's going to work. What do we reckon? Yes or no? Am I going to have to go and buy a hat? Oh my god, it's actual charging. It's drawing 0.37 amps. We've got green lights here. We've got a red light up there. Right, well I'm assuming it's completely dead because it didn't come on before, so I'm going to leave it charging for a bit. Right, it's been charging for about 20 minutes now and I'm impatient, so I'm going to leave it there. Now let's see if it comes on. Yes it does. Excellent. Let's try and pair it up to something. I think it's supposed to work with the Steam Deck, so let's try that. Blue teeth. Come on. You know you want to. There it is. Yes! Solid green light. Paired. Amazing. Oh, it's all over the place. Left works, down works, up works. But right goes up. But only on the D-pad. Why? Take it apart again. I won't bore you with that. I'll just take it apart and I'll see if I can see what's wrong with it. I'm going to take a wild guess that I've just not put it back together properly, but we'll see. Right, the only thing I can see is that when I reconnected the battery or disconnected the battery, a little bit of a solder has jumped across from there to there, which is probably joining those together now. Right, well, they are definitely touching. Let's correct it and see if they were supposed to be or not. Should they have been on the same path? No. Right. Well, maybe that is it. <laughs> That's easily done, because I did that without a microscope, and I obviously didn't notice that I'd done it. Let's have a look. I'll clean it up first, and then we'll pop it back together and try it again. Yay! 
So I don't know if it was that or whether it was one of the ribbon connectors wasn't seated properly, but obviously that solder blob wasn't right. Anyway, it works. I don't know what this game is, as usual. I do like the feel of this controller. It's like the Super Nintendo one. I think that's what the SN stands for. Correct me if I'm wrong. Nice. I found the horn. Well, there we go. Oh, it's like micro machines. Don't think you're supposed to fly off the edge. Could be wrong. <laughs> yes. What a stupid game! Here in my car, I feel safest of all I can lock all my doors It's the only way to live in cars Here in my car, I can only receive I can listen to you It keeps me stable for days in cars <laughs> 